Welcome to Cannes, France's most popular city on the coast. And how are we going to show it to you? By land, by air, and by sea. You ready? Let's go. Located in the heart of the French Riviera, between Saint-Tropez and Nice, is the city of Cannes. The best way to begin your land visit of Cannes is with a trip through the Old Town. Stroll up Rue Saint-Antoine to see some of the best shops and cafes on these pedestrian-only streets. At the peak of the Old Town is the Square Tower. Built in the 11th century, this tower has the best panoramic views of the city, the port, and the surrounding mountain towns. Venture out into those foothills to the suburb of Grasse, which is home to Fragonard. Dating back to the 1700s, this is France's most renowned perfume factory. We met up with Frederica. Welcome in Fragonard. Thank you, I hear this is the creme de la creme of perfume factories. Exactly. Perfumes are designed by someone called the nose. To be a nose, you have uh, to have a gift from God. Very good olfactory memory, very good olfactory system. There are over 3,000 essences used in making perfumes, and it takes over 1,300 pounds of flowers to make one quart of perfume essence. So this room, full of jasmine flower for one bottle. Once the essences are extracted from the flowers, they are combined with alcohol in these tanks for up to three weeks. The final step is bottling the perfume in these aluminum bottles. I told you we're going to show you this city by air, right? Let's go check it out. Pretty amazing coastline, seriously though. That is beautiful. Definitely a must do if you get up here. And to finish your day, hop on a ferry and experience came by sea. The ferry would take you to the island of St. Marguerite, about a half mile off the coast. St. Marguerite is most famous for its fortress prison that once housed the man in the iron mask. This is his cell. This is where he spent majority of his life. I mean, if you look, there's three gates that go back. They certainly did not want him getting out. The Romans first occupied these islands, using it to watch the coastal roads. Today, it serves as a protected archaeological site, a maritime museum, and even a youth hostel for students. Well, that's Cannes, everyone. I'm Alex Boylan. I will see you next time.